The Sims 4 Danger Mansion, where six Sims compete for the grand prize of 100 simoleons and a chair. Here we are on this lovely day at the grand mansion where the games will begin. Our lovely contestants are now in the middle of the mansion that they were locked in last night. Yeah, I don't know why they're all bunched together. Oh, there we go. They have gained sentience. Okay, they're arguing already and we've just started and Bean is panicking. Vlad has disappeared. We're off to a great start. Before we begin today's games, I want to give you all a brief overview of the manner and how the rules are going to work. Just behind these lovely ladies is the challenge door. Sims are not allowed to enter this door until the challenges have begun. They have no idea what's behind this door and neither do you. Downstairs we have this loving sitting area where Sims can come and chat between games and a dining room where they can eat their meals or read books. I guess this is the socializing area because there's a table here. Now in terms of the second floor, we have a bathroom where Eliza for some reason is watching me bathe and I seem very unbothered by it. Okay, thank you. Oh, she really needs to pee. How unfortunate. Heading through the door on the left, we have the sleeping quarters. This is where all of the contestants will sleep after each challenge, but the winner of each challenge gets to sleep in the bedroom on the right, which is the winner's bedroom. This bedroom has everything they need to get their needs in tip-top shape before the next day's challenge. So you definitely want to win challenges so you can sleep in here. And whoever lives loses, the challenge gets voted off. Does that make sense? It better do. The first challenge is to see if Eliza can make it to the bathroom without pissing herself. Now, you might be wondering, where are these Sims going to eat? Because all of these contestants are physically incapable of leaving the mansion. There's like a curse or something. I don't know. It's because they have to order pizza. And I totally trust Bean to order it herself for everybody. Who's singing? Vlad, shut up. But we're gonna take a little bit of time for all these Sims to get situated and basically prepare themselves for the challenge tonight. Although, to be honest, they seem very hell-bent on staying in this room. Except for Vlad. I don't really know where he- Okay, that was completely useless. Now, do I think Vlad is probably going to have a bit of an advantage against everybody else? Probably, but these competitions can pretty much go either way. Where is he? Oh, the pizza guy's here with some ghosts. I'm gonna be honest, Chief. I don't think Bean can actually take the pizza because she's not allowed to open the door. So uh, I didn't really think this through. And yeah, the, the mansion's haunted. I kind of forgot to mention that, but like, I don't think it really matters in the grand scheme of things. The ghosts can open the doors though. That's because they live here. I guess we just have to wait for the pizza guy to drop the pizza. Okay. Why is Bob angry? Bob's spouse was flirting with another. Eliza, we have been here for like two seconds. Who are you flirting with? Oh, of course. He's really not gonna drop the pizza, is he? I mean, luckily Vlad doesn't need pizza. I'm starting to see why he might have an advantage in this. I've put this on three times speed now and he will not drop the pizza. I'm actually very concerned about this. Oh, there we go. Okay, we now have cold pizza. We're all in the bathroom screaming for some reason and I'm not sure why. I, people really like hanging out in here. I really don't get it. They're just obsessed with me. What can I say? Okay, I'm gonna wait for everybody to come and eat their meals and then we'll start the challenge. I think this is gonna go great. Everything is going to be fine. Finally, it's time to see challenge number one. It's time to see what's beyond the door. Oh, it's just an empty room. But where might these stairs lead? Welcome contestants to challenge number one. It might just be an empty room with dartboards and a dungeon, but it's actually a matter of life or death. It would be nice if you guys could just like face the dartboard. Okay, all right. Calm down. There are three dartboards. Contestants will go head to head playing darts. And contestants have to keep track of how many points they win. And once they're finished, they go through the door for the next challenge. It might sound silly, but trust me, your life depends on it. Sims have been split into three teams just to make this faster and more efficient, with Bob going against Eliza, Vlad going against me, and Janine going against Bean. Bean. This is very intense and very crazy. Anybody could win or lose this. I'm kind of in love with the spousal rival here. They've already been fighting since they've been here, so I thought might as well. I also might be a disadvantage going against Vlad, but I think I can take it, even though he's a sore loser. And Janine and Bean are besties. I don't even think they think they're in a competition. One of the pancakes has not scored at all, and I think it might be Bob. I'm not sure. Where did... Okay, he just left. Vlad, why did you just leave the competition? Well, you didn't even finish the game. 
None of them finished, actually. Everybody just decided that they don't want to play anymore. Where are you guys going? I uh, excuse me. Nobody said you could leave the challenge room. I'm actually going to kill all of you. Okay, fine. Just go through the door then. I'm just gonna lock it this time. Corral you all in. The second challenge will have Sims go head to head in bowling, and whoever has the least amount of points gets eliminated. Now the idea was that you would tally your points together from darts and from bowling, but you guys didn't actually want to finish the game. So now your life depends on bowling. There's only five lanes and six sims. So someone is just gonna have to go last and I pick Vlad because he was the first to leave and I don't like him anymore. Each sim is going to play a five frame game. So they have five chances to get as many points as they possibly can. Don't start with me. Let the games begin. I know you guys are okay. Never mind. I understand you guys are probably tired and don't want to be here, but I really urge you guys to sit and think about 100 simoleons and a chair. Oh yeah. I don't really know who I should be most afraid of in this competition because obviously I'm rooting for myself. I also love that we're wearing all of these amazing gowns and outfits and we're just wearing bowling shoes. <laughs> Vlad is observing the competition. He's getting an outside perspective. Now whether that gives him an advantage or not, I don't think so. To be honest, I don't think he's thinking about much. Also, I never really thought about how we're gonna feed him. I think we're just gonna let him figure that out for himself. Bean is like falling asleep over there. I cannot stress just how intense this competition is. I am literally on the edge of my seat and my seat doesn't even really have an edge because it's rounded. I think it would be really embarrassing if your favorite contestant went home today because of this. Oh, where did the ball go? Okay, Eliza. The scores are in. I bowled a 66. Eliza bowled a 42. Janina 62. Bob a 48. Bean bowled a 53. Which means Eliza is the lowest score in the competition. This means that Vlad has to bowl above a 42 to qualify. Everybody is watching this and I am actually so nervous now. And oh, okay, yeah, Eliza, you're pretty much fucked. <laughs> okay, we can stop dancing now. Everybody is like really, really sleepy. Just four more bowls to go. I want I wonder if vampires are any good at bowling. Like, I don't think there's anything in vampire lore that suggests that they are, but I'm starting to think that maybe we might be a little bit overqualified for this competition. Why do you even need 100 simoleons in a chair? I'm pretty sure you have many chairs. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest, Chief. You best start packing your bags, bestie. This is actually a lot more intense when you're just watching one person. Oh, okay. That was a little silly. All right, dude, chill. You don't have to act this way. I just want to get rid of him for his attitude. I don't really like it. Oh, this is gonna be a strut. Never mind. I don't know anything about bowling. And the last one. Best make it count, buddy. Okay. Yep, that's it. Vlad bowled a 98. He is the official winner of this challenge, which means he gets to sleep in the super cool bed, even though he's a vampire and doesn't need to sleep. But unfortunately, Eliza, that means that you are eliminated. Oh, what? Okay, let's just go upstairs now. are all sleeping soundly for the night, attempting to recharge for tomorrow's challenge. I don't really know where Eliza went, to be honest, but I'm sure she's fine. Vlad is having an amazing time watching some television in a bed he doesn't need to use because he was the grand winner of today's challenge. Who knew that vampires were good at bowling? Because I didn't. But with the day's challenge done, the manor is as quiet as ever. Uh, except for these, like, random thorns that are just growing outside and random hands that are reaching out from hell. But I'm sure all of that is fine and completely normal.